and welcome to Who It Could Have Been, where every single week we take a look at a famous actor or actress who was up for a big role, but for one reason or another they didn't quite get it. Whether they've been better, worse, or just plain idiotic. Yeah, like that one time that Demos auditioned to be the sword and the sword and the stone and then filed a complaint with HR with the way Arthur handled him and threw him around. Oh, he just pulled me out. And then he put me back in. And then they pulled me out again. I felt mishandled. Well, it's kind of funny that you should mention Sword in the Stone, because tonight, for the first time ever on the show, we're actually going to be covering who it could have been voice acting. Now, I think that a lot of people, when they think of voice acting, they they kind of hold it at a lower regard, which I think is unfortunate. Yeah. I think there is a certain level of talent to be able to express that kind of emotion and that kind of breadth of character utilizing only your voice and artistic rendition. It's a true marriage between hand-drawn art and acting. When it's done well, it's something that is a mastery to behold. And in this particular case, the genie, voiced by Robin Williams, is one of those masters to behold. First of all, to be clear, for those who don't respect voice acting, um, we recorded an episode around this one that we're doing now for context, but someone mentioned Pinky in the Brain. That means somebody, in this case, I believe the the voice actor's name is Ron Perlman, had to actually scream Narf into a microphone and make children buy that crap. Okay. That's voice acting. Well, it definitely wasn't Ron Perlman who played Hellboy and so forth. It's been said many times and it holds truth to a certain degree that the casting of Robin Williams as the genie kind of opened the door to the celebrity voiceover. Now there have been celebrity voiceovers many, many times before, but this was the first to really uh, break that mold by the end of that decade when toy story 2 came out the poster had huge names up top saying hanks allen toy story 2 hanks allen rob paulson that's who i was ah damn it i I mean you got the initials correct shut your face (laughs) can you imagine anybody else doing the voice of the genie well, in this particular case, I want to I want to draw attention to one such actor that was considered for the role, none other than Steve Martin. So, let me say this about that: Will Smith recently did the live action Aladdin, right? I had a feeling uh, that was going to come up. <laughs> it has to, and and the reason why I'm so okay with what he did. Um, I did sample it by way of De Plus the other day with my daughter. And I got to tell you, the internet needs to shove it. It was not the raging disaster that it arguably should have or could have been at the very least. I don't think Will Smith was the worst part of that movie. I think, in fact, if anything, I thought he was the best part of that movie. Let's be clear. Jafar was the person that, but worst part of that movie, and we're not even talking about it anymore. The punchline being this, my friend. The, the key thing, and he was asked about it, Will Smith, was he knew. Because he said, I can't do it like that. He knew he had to be, I'm paraphrasing at this point, he knew he had to be his own genie, not Robin Williams' genie. And to be honest, if it was the only thing we had known, we would have been satisfied with it. Now, I go back to say this. I could very much see a world where Steve Martin does a solid job. I, I think it's I think it's beyond question that Steve Martin would definitely br- make, do a solid job. I don't think that's even a, a contention here. Well, and I mean, uh, Prince of Egypt, Steve Martin and Martin Short combined to be Egyptian prophets or whatever the word was. But the two of them, the, the song is you're playing with the big boys now. I, I don't even remember if that's a Disney production. I think Prince no. of Egypt was. No, it's not. Okay. But if you're looking for what the genie could have looked like it would have been something like that when and and the, the, key for for contest you're playing with the big boys now is sung by um two egyptian lacking a better term prophets trying to do their brand of magic the moses backed by god right and he's saying to moses you're playing they are saying to moses you're playing with the big boys now right it's pretty damn smooth kind of in the same way that the song savages and pocahontas is smooth it gets you a certain way but i say all that to say this if you look at that song if you look at that animation you get a 
feel for what that could have looked like. And it's not a bad product. I could even argue that Martin Short might even be a better choice than Steve Martin in particular, just because if you want to kick up the level of Zany just a little bit more on Steve Martin, you get Martin Short. Oddly enough, Martin Short was on the list of considerations as well. Robin Williams, he so embodied the role and characteristics of the genie that to imagine anyone else would be pretty much to imagine a completely different character. Now, taking the Steve Martin, I mean, really pretty much at the cusp of the 80s, the wild and crazy guy, Steve Martin. You're setting the table nicely for a transition. I could definitely see the genie going, well, excuse me. They would have been compelled to put that in there, and the genie could have delivered that. Who knows? Maybe there's a moment where Robin Williams imitates one of Steve Martin's things while being the genie. That would be meta as hell. I don't think it happens, but I'd need a rewatch myself to confirm it. Well, excuse me. The punchline is the fact that we are even having that question occur proves that it's something that could have been done with success. But no, you're not going to replace Robin Williams. Get out of my face. Uh, Steve Martin has the energy. He has the charisma. He has a, a very distinct voice. I think he would be fantastic. However, general impressions are not his forte, which once again reiterates what I said earlier in the fact that it would be a very, very different character. Now, Robin Williams, because of the fact that he is a voice chameleon in his, in his own right, is considerably the better choice. I would also say that if Steve Martin does the, doesn't do the impressions and, and the pop culture references, your theory about Agrabah being post-apocalyptic is completely out the window. Well, it's not my theory. We had a previous conversation about the dark Disney theory that Aladdin takes place in a far, far future and it's really post-apocalyptic. Therefore, that's why you got uh, Genie's, all his anachronistic references and, and, and so forth. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting one and kind of compelling when you think about 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. I could see Steve Martin doing that line. I can see Steve Martin actually making a King Tut reference. I mean, he kind of, he'd probably be compelled to being yeah. the era. That, uh, excuse me, wild and crazy guy, all would have been forced into the movie. One hundred percent. True. I, mean, I think that I think that one of the things I appreciate is specifically about Robin Williams' portrayal of the genie in the original film. The thing that I appreciate about that performance, as opposed to other celebrity voice work, is when I look at the genie. I see the genie. I don't see the voice actor through the character. And I feel that way in a lot of other films. If you want to use, if you want to go back to Will Smith, Shark Tale, when you watch that film, and it's not a comparable film by any, any chance, I see Will Smith. I don't see a damn fish. So all in all, I think we're, we're kind of in agreement that Steve Martin would have been a solid choice, but that Robin Williams is far superior. Next question. Easy. For the next question, tune in next week for yet another episode of Who It Could Have Been right here on Hilarity by Default, where life is, apropos, hilarious by default. More like apropos. No. Why? Really. Why would you take that away from me? 